want to start you off with a look at our breaking weather alert system. Again, you can see some of the active severe thunderstorm warnings. Now keep in mind, these are at the top of the list only because they're the most recent. We still have some active tornado warnings and we'll check in on those in just a moment. Did want to mention that with some of those, we still have some issues with hail in some cases, potentially upwards even baseball size. Also some flash flood warnings. Uh, this one coming in out of Missouri uh, for uh, Macon. Uh, again, a number of other counties there. Cooper, Randolph County as well. That goes until 3 a.m. Central Time. So a lot of these areas have seen some pretty heavy rainfall and it continues. That's right. And the heavy rain is, is very widespread across the country, all the way from Chicago down through Missouri, even into parts of Oakland. Oklahoma. We have been tracking a few storms into portions of Oklahoma, really the same areas being affected, and we are watching this storm with a tornado warning through Comanche County. Elgin is one of the cities to watch, Lawton and Medicine Park, and there have been some reports of a tornado on the west side of Lawton and reports of power flashes as well. As you've heard uh, Todd say, there are a lot of storm trackers out there, including our Tornado Hunt 2013 team. Here's a look at the hail tracker, and we have been seeing some some very large hail with this system. The reports about an hour ago of tennis ball sized hail and the potential at least showing up on our, our instruments of perhaps up to golf balls or rather grapefruit sized hail. So tennis ball has been reported and here's some of those reports 1.3 inches around Cyril or Cyril and then as we've uh, headed off towards the west of Lawton a report of 2.8 sized hail that is enough to leave a wow. mark and you know I did want to mention also uh, I know cash the cash area has been you know just for a short time now been outside of the tornado warning area but keep in mind that next cell it's very close to you also has a, at least a hook kind of a pr kind of pronounced from the uh, southern side of it. Also a lot of active lightning and it is a severe thunderstorm at this point on our uh, breaking weather alert system. There's a look at uh, one of the latest updates coming in here. Reports of power flashes at the Fort Sill, Oklahoma area and I-44 north of Lawton itself. Again, this has been one of the places that I'm sure at this point you've heard a lot of these warnings going off. Uh, you've been a little bit weary of this, but keep in mind uh, we still have that potential out there and you really have to take this seriously, especially in a setup like this where the radar is picking up on some of that rotation. That's right. And here's one of our live pictures coming out of areas near Lawton, Oklahoma, where they are dealing with this tornado worn storm. Uh, you can see off in the distance uh, all that cloud cover, the darkness, and really these areas have been seeing several rounds of storms. You heard Todd say really right around this boundary. We haven't seen a storm and then it moves through and then things quiet down. Instead, we are getting hit by storm after storm. So not just the problem with the hail, all the lightning, the potential tornadoes, but the very, very heavy rain that comes around with this. This is another look at a different camera from near Lawton, Oklahoma. A lot of storm chasers out there providing us the video of this storm. So if we are able to uh, catch a peak of that tornado, there's a good chance that somebody out there with a camera is going to be able to get a look at it. Yeah, at least for the next hour or so. I believe we have just over an hour before the sun uh, starts to go down uh, over the horizon. Then it becomes quite a bit more dangerous. You know, tornadoes at night uh, can be a very dangerous situation. Look at the driving conditions here. This is why. You can stay here. The Weather Channel, these are seasoned storm chasers that are out on the roads right now with the windshield wipers moving as fast as they possibly can. And you can still barely see anything out there on the roadways. Uh, but uh, as I was mentioning that, you know, the threat that these tornadoes will go, the potential for tornadoes will go well into the overnight hours. That is a specific concern of ours here at the Weather Channel. And again, want to make sure that even as we get through some of these later night hours, you are still ahead of that uh, tornado threat considering some of these watches, uh, especially up towards, let's say, some of those areas uh, in through northern Illinois and uh, northwestern Indiana go until midnight local time. That's right, and I uh, want to remind you that we do not have any episodes of Lifeguard airing tonight. We are going to stay live with this coverage because we were watching these storms down into some very unpopulated areas. Now we've gotten around Lawn and we've seen a little more action on the roads and, and around uh, some storms or stores, and now we're seeing some of those storms advance closer to the Oklahoma City area. So we are going to continue our severe weather coverage. Make sure you stay with us. We'll have more from the experts, also our tornado hunt team in a few.